Hey everybody, today we're gonna do a really quick video for a really, really simple dish. Hey everyone, it's Dora from FlippingHousesAndPancakes.com and today we're gonna make something really simple. I like to put this on my Shabbos table. I have kids who absolutely devour it. They spread it on their bread, their challah. You can dip your food in it. It is great and I'll be honest, Sometimes if I have leftovers of it, I'll add it to a stir fry or pasta. Mm, okay, it's so good. All you need is a few ingredients and a oven. All right, are you ready for it? It's really easy. We are gonna make a garlic comfy, and I like to add a few extra vegetables. You can add whatever you wanna add to it. I am preheating my oven up to 400 degrees, so by the time we get to throwing this in the oven, it'll probably be about that. You can use Pyrex, you can use whatever dish you want to use. I'm going the throwaway version today, so we're gonna use an aluminum pan, because I don't feel like doing a million dishes later. All right, first thing you need is a pan of some sort. Like I said, you can do anything that's oven proof. So a Pyrex dish, a ceramic bowl, whatever it is that you've got that you want to put in the oven, and then you're gonna add your garlic. Now I have a lot of people coming, <laughs> coming over this week um, and also, by the way, you should know that this does freeze, so you can separate it out into portions and freeze it. And also, it does last for a good two or three weeks in your fridge, so you could just leave it in the fridge. You can make extra and have it for two weeks. I'm going to add a whole bunch of... Okay, I'm going to add a whole bunch of garlic into my container here, into my pan. Lots of garlic. Um, a few people like the tomatoes, so I'm gonna add some tomato to it. You can also add sliced mushrooms, I've done that as well. Okay, I usually do tomatoes, but I sometimes add mushrooms. I'm adding the smaller ones because nobody wants a giant tomato. All right, so we're gonna add some tomatoes in here. Sound good so far? All right, now I'm gonna add the olive oil. Now, just for entertainment purposes, I just want you to know where I bought, got this little bottle. I did not buy it. We actually took an amazing tour of the Pompeian olive oil factory um, with a school group. And it was so fun. And they gave us these adorable little bottles um, when we finished. It's right here in Baltimore. So that was not sponsored. It's just that that's where my olive oil came from. So I figured I should let you know. Um, it happens to be the olive oil I use anyhow. <laughs> oh, hey. I'm gonna pour in that whole container of olive oil. I know that seems like a lot, but it's a lot of garlic. This was eight ounces. Um, you want the olive oil to kind of just surround your garlic because the garlic's not the only important part and the tomatoes are not the only important part. You also want the oil because you're gonna smear that. You're gonna dip your challah into it. You're gonna do whatever it is. You're gonna really enjoy it, okay? You could just put this straight in the oven. I am going to do a very simple, I'm going to add some salt to it because it's good that way. I'm going to add some basil. I'm going to sprinkle some basil on just like that. Okay, just coating the top of it. And I'm going to add some oregano because I like it kind of Mediterranean. All right, you could, remember you could add other vegetables if you really wanted to. I have done it with mushrooms in the past. And that's what it looks like. Super simple. This is going to go in the oven and it is going to bake in the oven until the oil is bubbling and the garlic begins to look like puffed and golden. Um, and that's when you know it's really nice and soft. So we're going to throw this in the oven and we'll come back in a little while. It's going to do all the work itself. I don't have to work hard for it and it's going to be delicious on my table. I guess we'll come back when it's time to take it out. Okay, it's out of the oven. Let's just show you. We got a pan full of this delicious garlic and oil and tomato, and it's so yummy. Um, I couldn't, I couldn't help myself. I grabbed a piece of challah. I found a roll, and all you do is you just drizzle the oil, drizzle some garlic on it. My kids pile, pile the garlic on top, and that's it. If you've never made this, it's so easy. Buy the garlic that is already peeled. <laughs> I will 
make your life a lot simpler. And then just, I mean, how long did it take in my oven? Almost nothing. It took me almost no prep time. <clears throat> you definitely need to try this. Make this for your next meal. And if you enjoy it, don't forget to like, subscribe to my channel, hit the bell for notification. So if I know every time I upload a new video, and as always, check out my website, flippinghousesandpancakes.com.